guys all right so i've got a thrift haul i'm gonna show you what i buy why i buy it how much it cost and if i have an idea of what i can get for it i'll tell you so first thing i've got these cute little snow people these were 49 cents a piece they're marked made in taiwan so they're a little bit older um not old old but you know so probably like 12 to 15 for the pair got this cute little bell that's 49 cents maybe I don't know 8 to 10 somewhere in there and I'm being conservative cute little piggy bank so so cute it is missing its stopper. It was a dollar and maybe 12 to 15. Cute little pink elephant. So, so cute. Um, again, it was a dollar and I don't know how much I'll get for this. And I may put it in. I'm doing an elephant sale on whatnot, elephant theme, so. I may put it there, and you never know what stuff's going to go for it there. This is a Nesco, and a Nesco's not always a great buy, but I did pick this one up. It was 49 cents because it's got an owl on it. And it's Christmassy. This is the Susie's Zoo line. Still has its full label on the bottom. Then I got Fitz and Floyd, Give Me Some Sugar cookies it's on both sides 49 cents um i don't know what this particular one goes for but it was fitz and floyd so that's always a good brand to be on the lookout for especially for 49 cents also for 49 cents west germany and has the original sales tag this is panda mug i do not know how to pronounce the brand that's on the bottom <laughs> um but I looked it up and they're about eight to ten dollars. So it's not great, but you know, if you find somebody who loves pandas, you know, it may work out. Battleship sized jigger. Um it's really cute because it's got like on the side it's got different measurements and there's like admiral, captain, lieutenant. Chief Petty Officer and Seaman. <laughs> so 49 cents. I don't know, we'll say $10. This is North Carolina Battleship Memorial, Wilmington, North Carolina. Sometimes stuff like this can, this battleship stuff can do really well. Hand decorated glass ornaments. These were 49 cents. It's bulb. This is Bob Bradford Novelty Company. So I might put this in my vintage Christmas ornament sale that's coming up on whatnot. I'm not sure. This little bag of goodies. I love little bags of goodies. This was 49 cents. And I didn't notice it came with this little tiny crocheted clown. So that'll go in my clown sale that's coming up on whatnot. And then it's also got some crocheted ornaments and a beaded ornament. So 49 cents for all that. Most of it'll go on whatnot. But this home cooking secrets of Bakersville. <laughs> I opened it up. And it's got this vintage Hardee's ad. I thought that was pretty cool. There's all these little vintage ads. I guess it was a cookbook sponsored by the different businesses in this town. Old cookbooks like this, small town cookbooks, church cookbooks can do really well. But I don't have an exact number on that one. Um, 99 cents Spider Man tag. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I was like, well, it's Spider-Man, it's 99 cents, I'm gonna get it. Christmas Carols, this is a Kurt Adler ornament. It no longer plays, but I still think it was worth, I think it was like 99 cents, 49 cents, somewhere in there. I got a couple bags of shells. I know crafters love shells. And this one was 49 cents for this bag. And then $1.99 for this bag. So, to be honest, I'm not sure how I will market these. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. Oh, there's a piece of driftwood in there, too. Logan Burger, which is not as good as it used to be, but I couldn't pass up for 49 cents. This little snowman Logan Burger basket charm. So, thought that was a good buy. Uh, then I got the jingle all the way tapestry pillow. Still got a tag on it. <laughs> I don't know how much this was. But some of these tapestry pillows can do really well. And if you can get it for like a dollar, why not? I think it was a dollar or two dollar. I don't know. Russell Deluxe Canasta cards. These have a rough, roughed grouse design. So these were, I think, 50 cents. And I got this box of cards that was 50 cents. I don't think the these two weren't very interesting to me. But... Whoever was trying to sell it at a antique store was asking $15 for all three decks. This is what's interesting to me. The fortune telling cards, old gypsy. This seem really cool. So. Oh yeah, the graphics on them are pretty awesome. The router. Anchor. These are definitely older. The letter. So. Box is kind of falling apart. Genuine card game. It's even still got the instructions. I think this is really cool. And to have paid 50 cents. doll three dollars I don't know what she's worth I'm just now getting into selling stuff like that so I do love selling toys especially toy bags because you find so much good stuff um, this is a brand new pair of Lane Bryant linen paint well linen blend pants yes they need to be ironed badly um, three dollars I think I should sell for like 25 This was pretty cool. I don't know if it's actually worth anything, but this is the Black Lilies. This is a band out of, I think it was Knoxville, Tennessee, and it is signed. Okay. This is by Cruz. Yeah. It's one of the band members because I ended I looked it up. I don't know if anybody will actually want it, so but it was a dollar. Little bear. This is 50 cents and it's by Made in Japan AINU product. So I love the little, love the look of it. Scarves were a quarter, so I picked up this Chico's scarf. Chico's is a good brand. I mean, for a quarter? Got these little figures and stuff. There's some lamp finials in here. Two dollars. Let's see. Got this little figure. 
from 1998. It's a little bear with little like hats and stuff I don't know cuddle cub oh it's a frame how is it a frame oh there would have been a picture frame in there okay okay so that's that's all the junk a wood bear light socket cover got some turkeys one of them needs to have its finial reattached. Got two little turkeys. Here's the little finial that needs to be reattached. And then here's some teddy bear finials. Say no teddy bear. Those are too cute. And I'll probably sell them as a pair in case somebody's got a set of lamps they want to use them on. Adorable. And then this is some sort of clip. Don't know what he goes on. But that's him. And then there's two Christmas toothbrushes in here. Thank God they don't look like they've been used. They're old though. Let's see. Those are interesting. You know, you'd be surprised what's worth money, so I'll probably look them up. <laughs> oh, my God. This little gown. These are usually Hallmark. I'm pretty sure this is Hallmark. This is a little um, stocking holder. It was a dollar. Um, this little fish plate, well, I guess a trinket dish, now, it was $2 and somebody had tried to sell it at a consignment shop for $29. So I was like, I'll take a chance. Then we've got some more lamp finials. This time we've got Halloween ones and I looked these up and probably get like around 10 to $15 a piece. And this bag of three was a dollar. So. People love their Halloween stuff. I know I sure do. Look at that bag. And then I have this other bag of Halloween stuff. This was a dollar. Vintage Halloween guys does really, really well. what we got in here we got some magnets two witch mag witch bear magnet and then we've got two I almost said snowman ghost magnet two little vintage bears these are so cute Maybe dogs. I'm not sure. But, yeah, really cute. Vintage. Oh my gosh, this I'll probably have to keep. This is Shirt Tales, and it's Halloween. A little raccoon trick or treat. I'll actually, I'll probably look it up because it's Shirt Tales and. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Got some little magnet. Bear coming out of a pumpkin. We got a little Russ cat. Oh, we have a vampire bear magnet. So cute. Then we have a little teddy bear. This is just a little figure. A little witch. These little figures, if I don't keep them, I may sell through 
um, whatnot next year. Oh, last soon. And then the last piece in here was a bear ghost magnet. So I'll load up the bear magnet. But that whole bag was only a dollar. That will definitely make way more than a dollar. I don't expect to be worth anything. It's from Hobby Lobby. That's, that's probably not worth anything. And there's this metal die cast plane. It is missing its thingamajigger. It covers. <laughs> This one is, I don't see any brands on it. Looks like it's missing one of its, two of its wheels. Hopefully something in here is worth salvaging. <laughs> Another little plane. Well, I mean, they're all planes, but. U.S. Air Force. And. What was this one again? It looks like a Star Destroyer from Star Wars. Star Destroyer. It's missing something off the bottom. But that was a dollar. I didn't realize it was missing so many pieces. I probably wouldn't have grabbed that. A bag of magnetic letters and numbers for two dollars. I've heard those can be good. Super old animals these are dandy imports this is a old dandy tag I'm trying to see if it said where it was made made in Korea I got these four books to lot up I don't know if it was a if it was a good buy or not but there was Four different coding books for kids. I think it's about two dollars on all four of them. So coding games in Scratch, a step-by-step -step guide to computer coding one and two, and then twenty games to create with Scratch. But I don't know if this is good or not. And last item, another panda mug. It's forty-nine cents. This one's Japan. And I think it's that same brand that I couldn't read on the other one. But it's, you can't really read it that well. So, that is everything for this thrift haul. So, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.